screen. All of you, just confirm on chat. Yes, yes. very good. So, a uh, quick protocol repeat. So, for yes, everybody should write yes. So, let me see if you know. Yes, why, 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 why? Just type why, everyone. Let's see how many of you are present and energy is full. Okay, so don't be uh, sluggish in the session. If you feel sleepy, take a nap, come back again. No worries. But, uh, you know, try to be active and present all this while. Okay. Gitanjali is too energetic. Okay, never mind. So, uh, let's begin, guys. Okay, for uh, if you didn't understand anything, you have N. Uh, and if you want to repeat, uh, want any explanation, re-explanation, so you can go for R, whatever. So, what what is the other protocol you have been following so far? Ankur follows us. Great set of protocols. ER. Oh, explanation required. Ah, right. Good. ER. So ER is one. Okay. Okay. N D E R. Very good. Chalo. Okay, fellas. So there are few more people joining in. Admit everyone. Got it. G I. Okay. Cool. So you know the protocols, anyways. So it will not be a problem. So you now know that your board exams are going to be in the month of March, not in the month of. Uh, Feb, right? So don't uh, be complacent about it. Okay, so guys, once again, repeating the, you know, so you can see the slide. Let me make it full screen. Okay, so take this here. Lots of people are still joining in. Wait. Okay, fellas. So can you see the screen in which I have again uh, highlighted the. Um, let me close this one. I have highlighted the class course structure of class 10 once again. So if you see last time we were discussing this 20 is in, in this 20 is of uh, total of algebra. Hmm? In, yeah, total of algebra. Okay, now, and out of that quadratic was having a one plus four, one plus three cup um, quota. Okay, so one, one marker and mostly on the finding the value of k depending on the nature of roots or finding the other root if one root is given or some other variable to be found out and three is three marker would mostly be a um, word problem Acha, is this pen pen uh, color okay or this pen is okay color? yes sir any pen color is okay for us uh, any what color is okay for you yeah any color any pen color is okay no but it should not be glaring on your eyes anyway so okay fine so now we are going to discuss today trigonometry again. This is 12 marks. So what is the pattern here? So if you see, there is a one and one. So two one marker will be there. And uh, then another two marker is there. So one two questions of one mark, one question of two mark, one question of three mark, and one question of five marks is there. So two plus two, four, three, seven, five, twelve. This is the breakup for trigonometry. Now you could have guessed. What would be this five mark for? Can you guess what is this five mark for? Yeah, mm -hmm. application of trigonometry. So this is heights and distance. So there is no way. So you know that one five marker is in heights and distance, H and D. Okay, so this is heights and distance. Acha. What about these ones? Acha, I'll also talk about uh, that there are some deletions. Now this one, this one here, and this one here are mostly based on T ratios or again, the other thing which is left is not proving. So proving usually will be either here or here in the sample paper. There is a two mark identity proof three mark again, a small H and height and distance question. And one, these two one markers each are of T ratios or standard angle 30 degree, 45 degree. Voila, right. So you now know how to go about it. So this is mostly either trigonometric identities. Okay. Or another smaller application of HND. So in the, uh, the, in the sample paper, they have given two heights and distance, eight marks of heights and distance only. So obviously, you know, um, it could be mixed, mixed and, you know, so mostly I am expecting a three marker and there will be an option here. So best part is in the sample paper, uh, or is given not here. Not here, 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 there's an R. So, so you now know the structure. So be, be very, very clear in your mind. Okay. 
now this is deleted removed from for this year 2021 so what is that motivate the ratios whichever are defined at 0 degrees and 90 degrees so you don't need to apply tan 90 sin 0 and things like that uh i will show you surya what is the sample paper uh, you know like so that you can get so if i show it you let me show it directly um this is the paper okay so you can see the yeah there is an or in hnd so you are lucky so there is an or Sir, here also yes i will move to the next slide no 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 this is a question paper sample paper available on cbse's website oh so uh, you can see there are question number 34 So, so have you opened it or i is it not available is it not you know you're not able to see it on the screen yeah i'm not able to see it on the screen oh not visible oh oh i see okay wait a minute because i'm sharing only the ppt maybe wait a minute i will change the settings give me a time give me some time oh okay acha anyways so i have anyways that in the slide so i'll come back to so let's come, come back to you know let's come back to the slide so what i'm saying is uh Yes. Now PPT is available, uh, visible to everybody, right? No problem. Right. Okay. Chalo. So now uh, this is the. So we talked about this one. Oh, sorry, not this one. The. Uh, so I was I was talking about this. Uh, that signs all the standard angles of zero degrees and ninety degrees are they are saying they have removed trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Now this is something which should not have been removed. But okay, no problem. In next year, eleventh grade, you will learn anyway. So hence, sine of ninety minus theta is cos of theta. So this will not be asked to you. So any application of this kind will not be there. And heights and distance, no deletion. So right, good. Next. So again, uh, we will keep re reiterating the structure so that it is well established in your in your mind. So what are there? There are you know uh, two parts a and b part a is objective based part b subjective long answer type part a again there are 20 uh, or what do you say yeah, yes 20 uh, so 16 questions are there which are one mark or 16 of one marks you know this then there are four case studies of four each okay four questions on each so you have to answer four into four so this is a four into four am i right 16 again so this will be all also one marker each because there is case study there is objective based case study so hence so 32 marks is coming from b part a okay and you have a choice here four out of five sub parts of each case study you have to answer 21 to 26 again question number 21 to 26 6 in numbers there are two marker each so two marks so total is 12 Then twenty-seven to thirty-three are seven questions, so of three marks each. So hence it is twenty-one. And finally, three questions, thirty-four to thirty-six, are five marks each. There is no four marker this year. Last year it was there, and hence fifteen. So total is eighty. Twenty comes from your school, and hence center. This is how the breakup is. So you must be clear, thorough with this. Let's go to. So now let's revise quickly. So what is the basic ones? Angle ka definition. So we'll not spend time on it. So you know what an angle is, and uh, so this is the basic definition. An angle is considered as the figure obtained by rotating a given ray about its end point. So this is an angle. Just customary. This is an angle, right? All of you know inside outside of angle. Ninth grade, you have studied all of that. We'll not deliberate more time on it. Initial position O is called the initial. You know this is O, and uh, O B is called the so O B and O A initial and final positions of the side. Okay, next. So the measure of an angle is the amount of rotation from the initial side to the terminal side. So we are not going to definition of all of that, but you know anyways theta is nothing but arc length. So you might have studied this divided by radius. right where theta is in radians this is the definition of angle this is called angle measure method of defining an angle so again not very relevant per se or with respect to your upcoming board exams but yeah. next so i need not reiterate this 
and many a times you have this acronym as well what is that so oh, oh. so ka toa okay so you everyone knows this but it's not a very good way of but for 10th standard okay you know you you can write like that sign is opposite upon hypotenuse cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse and tan is opposite upon adjacent and the reciprocals of this are cosecant secant and cot so i don't think anyone here would be having any issues so this definition is good enough yeah and this is given uh, let's say in case of uh, for your 10th grade we have restricted the theta to be between what theta is going to be equal to 0 and less than equal to 90 degrees so we are going to be in acute angle range only okay that's what we learned this is let's say o this is a this is b and in terms of this is perpendicular this is base and this is hypotenuse now definition of perpendicular and base depends on the position of theta so for this theta the base is oa but if you define the angle like that the base will become if this is the angle phi the base will be p or ab so hence depending upon where the theta is you can define or you know you can define all the p ratios right so uh, is more confusing so don't don't go for it so whichever is more helpful to you remember that okay okay is that fine so this is other th these are the three or six ratios so you know that sin is what sin is reciprocal sin theta is sin theta is 1 upon cosecant theta and uh, cos theta is equal to 1 upon 1 upon secant theta and tan theta tan theta is 1 upon cot theta and vice versa so you know this right let's go to the next one okay so this is what they were talking about which we just discussed so we'll just run through it next value of sin theta and cos theta never exceed 1 always remember so is an added information though there are no more no questions related to the maximum and minimum value of the trigonometric ratios here but you always remember that sin theta is always sin theta is always less than or greater than minus 1 and less than 1 in your case since theta is between 0 degree to 90 degrees so you know that sin ki value will be 0 less than equal to sin theta less than equal to 1 and for cos it will be again 0 less than equal to cos theta less than equal to 1 both sin and cos will be between 0 and 1 if the theta is acute angle okay this is what and for tan it is what is the minimum value for tan 0 again less than equal to tan theta and here less than infinity so this is something like you know it is tending towards infinity very huge very big amount very big number so these are the general limits or values between uh, zero so uh, the range of values of sin cos and tan and accordingly you can see that cosecant theta cannot be between zero and one so cosecant theta if the theta is acute is greater than equal to one secant theta is again greater than equal to one and cot theta cot theta will vary similarly like tan only cot theta is 0 cot theta i hope this is clear though there are no questions directly related to this but having such knowledge always helps in checking whether you have done correctly or not whether let's say you are proving an identity and it is coming out that after all that proof you are getting sin theta greater than 1 so you can you can tally your answer check your answer that hey this seems to be little dubious so these are some tricks to remember and this will help you in your process okay so this is not there but i have mentioned that knowledge anyways is not bad so this is deleted so they are not going to ask you any question related to this but just in case it can aid again as a checking mechanism so in sin 90 minus theta is cos theta and uh, cos 90 minus theta is sin theta tan 90 minus theta is cot cot 90 minus theta is tan secant is cosecant and cosecant becomes secant right so you can change the trigonometric ratio by changing the angle and hence here co means complementary complementary to sin and hence you can 
you can see that 90 minus theta, what are called complementary angles anyway? So theta and 90 minus theta are complementary angles. Hence, sine, cosine, secant, cosecant, tan, and cotangent. So hence, you can relate to the theory like that. But anyways, now that unfortunately it has been deleted. So let's skip. And this is the standard table. You must know, and uh, there are no questions related to proving how do you get, so all of you know how to, how to prove, let's say if, if at all, by, you know, they, I have never seen that question, but if someone asks you prove that sine 60 is root three by two, how many of you will be able to do it? Why, 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 why? If sine 60, if they are asking prove that sine 60 is root three by two, how many will not be able to, so I, you know, anyone who, who will not be able to, so for them, I can, you know, maybe I can do this very quick proof for all of this. Uh, 45, so you don't need to worry because, yes, I will show. Why not? Here it is. So how to delete? No, let it be not like that. So A, B, C. And let us say this is A, 45 degrees. A, so this will be root 2A without any doubt by Pythagoras theorem. Correct? Any doubt in so far in this diagram? How did I write a a root two a? Any problem? So this is forty five degrees, no? So I saw this triangle. So behind the scene, this is happening. Is equal to let's say this was my h. So h square. So h is clearly root two by a. So you can derive now. So what will be sine of forty five degrees? So sine of forty five is opposite by hypotenuse. So a upon root two a is one upon root two. Clear. So likewise, you can find out all the other six ratios. Are you clear? Any problem? Now, what about uh, the 60 degree wall apart? So let us say we draw a equilateral triangle like that. And uh, we drop a perpendicular from here. So you all know that this angle is 60. Let us name it also. So, oh, oh. wait, why am I? So this is A. What? So A, B, C, D. Okay, this angle is 30. Okay, G. So tell me, guys. Now, if this is A, this will be A by 2, B, D. Right? Perpendicular drop from the vertex of an equilateral triangle will bisect the base. Correct? So hence, can you not find out that, let's say this is P. So what do I now I know? So P square plus A square by four is equal to A square, Uncle Pythagoras in action. So what is P square then? So P square is A square minus A square upon four, which is thrice A square upon four. Isn't it? So what's P? Perpendicular is root three upon two. A. Correct. Now you have to find out sine 60. Tell me from this figure, Sine 60 will be a d upon a without doubt. What's a d? That's p. p is how much? Root 3 by 2. a upon a, hence root 3 by 2. Yep. Taking side as 2a makes it easier. Take 2a if it, you know, uh, if it makes easier, but don't while while proving those since it is proving, so it, it will not incur any error. But many a times if you take any factors with the side, what will happen is there is a chance that you miss that two coefficient and end up getting a wrong result. So if you're careful, you can manage, you can take 2a, 4a, 10a, whichever works well with you. Okay, likewise, you can you can find out sine 30 as well. So sine 30, where is 30 degree? Here is 30 degrees. So sine 30, opposite, that is BD, that is A by 2, divided by hypotenuse, that is A, hence it is half. So likewise, you can design, but unfortunately this zero degree is, they are saying they are not going to ask you, but then you must know sine theta, sine 90 is one, cos 90 is zero, tan is not defined, rest all you can anyways. Yeah, many a times it happens that people forget the values, forget the values in terms of, you know, uh, what is sine, what is cos. So hence there was a trick I gave you during that also. So you can remember like this. So for sine, let's say if you write zero degree here, you write 30 degrees here, you write 45 here and 60 here, just in case you're totally, you know, nervous, you forgot the values, don't worry. 
what you can do for sine simply write 0 upon 4 root over this is first this is 1 upon 4 this is 2 upon 4 this is 3 upon 4 and this is 4 upon 4 this is for sine now for cosine you need to go in the reverse order so this is 0 upon 4 this is 1 upon 4 this is 2 upon 4 this is 3 upon 4 and this is 4 upon 4 right and tan this is sine this is cos and then tan you can reproduce the table within no time so you know the tan is nothing but ratio of sine and cos so this will be simply 0 this will be root over 1 upon 3 this will be root over uh, one, uh, 2 by 4 upon 2 by 4 is 1. This is root over 3. And this is not infinity. This is not incorrect way of writing it. And defined. Not defined. Okay. And then the rest three columns you can reproduce by just taking the reciprocals. Clear. So root over 0 by 4, 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 4 by 4. That's it. So and then so one column for sign. If at, if at all you have forgotten, it can help you regenerate the data within no time. Any doubt so far? So far, so good, guys. Yes, bolo. All right, everyone went to sleep or what? Where is the energy? Hello, people. Are you there? Janta. Yep. Okay. Sir, you are too boring, hence sleepy. So hence, please get lost. If feeling is coming, if yes, I can't help. You have to bear with me. Next. Okay, so done, right? So for the T ratios, this is good enough because complementary angles are not there. The life is easier. Let's go to sample paper 2021. Start solving. Sine A plus cos B is one. This is one marker. So out of two more marker, I told you. Um, this is the first one. Sine A plus cos B is equal to one. A is equal to 30 degree and B is an acute angle. Then find the value of B. Shallow, find the value of B. Hmm. So Shreyas is saying 60. Yes, there is absolutely no, nothing to, you know, what do you say? Think here. So sine A. So how will you write? So someone is now asking, do we have a class today? Just a minute. Let me answer this guy. Just a minute. Mm, yeah, no problem. Hmm. Okay, guys, so uh, sine A plus cos B is equal to 1. So very, very clear. So how will you write first? That's very important. Writing because losing even half marks is not good here. So because we are a, what was our aim by the way, guys? What is the aim? What's the target? What's the target of, yes, the target is centum. In centum, get centum. Okay, so you know, we have to target 100% only. So hence not a single mark should be. Spared. Now, sine A. So, A is equal to 30 degrees. Therefore, I would have written like this. Sine A plus sine B is equal to 1. So, sine 30 degrees plus sine B. Sorry. Hello. Someone is saying something. Sir, it's cos B, sir. Not sine B. Oh, uh, I myself is not. I am not getting sent in. That's so bad. Okay. Now, but I will use eraser. Now I know how to use eraser in this thing. Uh, PowerPoint also. Okay. But the pen nib is a little wider. Wait a minute. White screen. No. What was that? Pointer options. Pen back. Okay. Thanks. Pages 3. You are getting sent a my blazing screen. So sin A plus cos B is equal to 1. So sin 30 plus cos B is 1. Half plus cos B is equal to 1. So cos B is equal to have one minus half and it's better to write this symbol as well. So this means cos B is equal to Sir, Sir Madam. In the main board exam, do we have to write cos B is equal to one minus one half? Like can we skip a step and write cos B is equal to half? Deco, what did I say? I said I will write like that because I will not leave any stone unturned. Now, as far as time is concerned, I told you that three hour time is more than enough for your board paper. You would have realized it by now. 
is are your papers lengthy you know when you wrote the pre board did you feel that okay this is my god so many questions how do i cover so when you have lot of time why don't you help the examiner a bit to give you sentence so b is indeed 60 degrees sorry 60 degrees okay don't forget to write small small things for example many people will write so error zone please remember these things here is where they lose marks so they will write theta is equal to or whatever it is b b is equal to 60 this is not correct maybe the examiner will uh, what do you say ignore the error but uh, frankly speaking this is not correct so you have to put the degree sign over here as well right so things like that are small small things but you should be careful okay i hope it is making sense next one guys this is another question another one mark root 3 sin theta minus cos theta is 0 and it has been given dekho they have they have not put any equal to sign here if you see this is not there this is missing okay so just 60 implies it is in radians yes are you correct but there also until unless you write rad rad is the, you know the abbreviation for ra radians okay so root 3 sin theta minus cos theta is 0 find the value of theta very easy again so how would i write it i would have written it root 3 sin theta is equal to cos theta hence hence now what do i say i say sin theta upon cos theta is equal to 1 upon root 3 correct this implies you can do that why can you do, do in this case you can do that but otherwise you can't do it why can you do it because here is the reason reason is cos theta is not equal to 0 so hence you can divide the equation by cos theta if you, if it was 90 degrees let's say if there was equal to sign here you could not have done that so they have categorically mentioned that theta is not 90 degrees so since cos since theta is not 90 degrees so cos theta cannot be zero so you can divide the equation by cos theta and otherwise this state this step would have been wrong if you divide by cos theta if there is a possibility of theta being zero uh, 90 degrees so wait a minute eraser okay now okay so hence sin by cos is 10 obviously in one mark they are not going to test your how we supposed to show the examiner that we know the step is wrong when cos when theta is 90 so hence you know so when i divide so i know that division by 0 is not allowed right right yes you could have used yes stress that's correct but then there also you are dividing by sin no so sin must not be zero then stress clear so you have to mention then sin theta is not equal to zero because in mathematics dividing by theta so you are here here basically what are you doing you are dividing the equation by dividing the equation okay it's not written there by cos theta dividing the equation by cos theta so hence i would have again guys there there is someone whose mic is on unmute mode please put it on please put your mic on mute thank you yeah now so tan theta is 1 by root 2, 1 by root 3 so theta is equal to how much since it is given 0 to 90 degrees hence theta will be simply 30 degrees because in the next grade you will see that if the, if this restriction is not given there could be so many values of theta anyways so so far this is good okay any any doubt bolo next let's go to this one now this is the question which came in board paper last year for two marks okay the rod ac of a tv disc antenna is fixed at right angles to the wall ab and a rod cd is supporting the disc as shown so you can see so you have seen this kind of an arrangement in your dish antenna when you go to your terrace you will see the dish antenna is supported on this kind of a beam right so there is this structure which is fixed on wall something like that is there so that's what they are trying to show right anyways so hence what is what are they saying if ac is 1.5 ac so hence how would i have drawn thus drawn this i would have done this um i would have drawn the figure first like that which is relevant for me so c a and d i think b is not required i believe 
Yeah, and a rod CD support. ठीक है. If AC is 1.5, so this is right 1.5 here itself in the diagram. And CD is three, three meters, right? Find tan theta. So this angle is theta. Okay. So बोलो. First answer. Tan theta. So for that you need to find out. Tan theta is nothing but AC upon AD. Right. Right. So and tan theta is equal to AC. AC is given 1.5, but AD is not given. So hence, what you can do, use Pythagoras theorem. Do mention this right angle, and then this is nothing but under root three square minus 1.5 square. Right. So hence, this is 1.5 upon. So 1.5 is common here. So 1.5 can be taken outside, and hence this is 4 minus 1. Am I right? Tell me, am I right or not? All of you agree to this. So this 1.5, 1.5 will go. So this is 1 upon root 3. Okay. So tan theta is done. Now secant theta plus cot theta. So you can here from here itself, you can say if tan theta is 1 by root 3. Then theta is equal to 30 degrees. No doubt about it. 30 degrees. Then you can find out. Mark the question number very very clearly. So two secant theta plus cosecant theta. Then write secant 30 degrees plus cosecant 30 degrees. Secant 30 guys. How much value? Secant 30. Come on, quick. Let's see. Who will write secant thirty? How much is the value for secant thirty? Ah, so someone said yes. Two upon root three, very good. And what about cos secant thirty? <coughs> cos secant is two. Perfect. So hence two common, one by root three plus one. Ideally, you should rationalize the denominator. Okay. So hence you write two one plus root three by root three. Hence it is. Two root three, one plus root three by three. Okay. Bolo. Fair enough. All clear. Any doubt? When you write the answer, try to rationalize the denominator. Don't leave in irrational form. Ideally. Hmm. Chalo. But if you are, let's say, if you are falling short of time, then don't. Uh, you know, you can stop here also. Here. But if you have, I told you in maths paper you have enough time, so don't worry. Shall we next? Hmm. This was previous year sample papers or previous year question papers. So uh, one mark. A triangle ABC is right angle at C. Then the value of secant A plus B is secant A plus B is. Hmm. So right angle at C. So A plus B is ninety degrees. So how? Uh, since it was an MCQ, so we don't need to solve it. But let's say it is uh, it is asked in a one mark form in the current format. So what will you see? Say a triangle A B right angle at C. So A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees by angle sum property. Angle sum property. So D not defined. Anji. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me solve. Yes. So A plus B plus C is 180 degrees. So what is a plus b then? A plus b plus ninety degrees is equal to one eighty degrees. So hence a plus b is how much? Ninety degrees. So that means we have to find out secant ninety degrees is one upon cos ninety one upon zero. So not defined. Not. But people, there are few people who went for zero also. Why? So you now know how errors will be. In your exam, please be very careful, folks. Mm, next, so I've eliminated all those questions which have um, complementary angle component to it. Sine theta plus cos theta is root two cos theta. Theta not being ninety degrees, then find the value of tan theta. It is very very simple actually. So what will you do? You have to simply divide by cos the entire thing. So hence I would have done sine theta plus cos theta. Is equal to root two cos theta. You want tan, isn't it? How? What is tan? Tan is sine by cos. So let's get cos sine by cos. So divide the entire thing by cos theta. And uh, God is helpful here. So hence it is tan theta. And you can again divide 
by cos you know cos theta why because cos theta is not equal to 0 why because theta is not equal to 90 degrees given dekho here they have mentioned no so tan theta plus 1 is equal to root 2 right so tan theta is equal to root 2 minus okay but in this is these steps should be written only when then you know uh, if there is no mcq types which is mostly be the case this year okay do this given that sin alpha again i think this is of one mark ha huh? so given that sin alpha is root 3 by 2 this is all very very simple ones so these are like you know you can predict so i told you right in the beginning of the session you can you can predict your board question paper so the oh this question question number 6 will be a trigonometry question no 7 will be trigonometry like that so sin alpha is root so how will i write it if it is a one marker sin alpha is root 3 by 2 therefore alpha is equal to 60 degrees there and cos beta is equal to 0 degrees sorry 0 or don't take it 0 degrees ha huh? 0 cos beta is 0 so beta is equal to 90 degrees okay so beta minus alpha is equal to 90 degrees minus 30 degrees sorry what is that 60 degrees 60 degrees is equal to 30 degrees so okay so i'm not asking also whether it is understood or not do this again this is based on second type now based on standard angles so you must be very very thorough with your table or i told you if you forget it just recreate the table quickly by that 0 30 45 60 90 0 4 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 4 by 4 but anyways if you remember nothing like it sin 60 is so you i would have written it root 3 by 2 whole squared plus 2 into tan 45 is 1 minus cos square 30 is root 3 by 2 whole squared right so this this goes so answer is 2 so these are like freebies freebies right one one marks are freebies bonus chaliye do this sin a is 3 by 4 calculate secant a now here uh you can adopt both methodologies either you can go for a triangle mechanism where you draw a triangle and do base perpendicular hypotenuse or you can use what identities right so there are two ways method one one is draw the triangle okay draw and get free mark a b c a b c draw the tri triangle quick i'm oh, sorry ha chalo this is sin a a is this angle this angle is theta right right now 3 by 4 so this has to be 3 then and this has to be 4 right so what will this be Simply four square minus three square sixteen minus nine root seven. Don't forget the root. Okay. So what is the question? Secant a. Secant a is equal to first hypotenuse, right? Over base. Secant a will be hypotenuse over base. So what is hypotenuse here? Root seven divided by sorry four. Divided by root seven. Is that okay? This is one. Another method I told you: you use identities using. Sir, thank you, madam. Uh, aren't we supposed to rationalize the root seven? You can in trigonometry. Yes, uh, yes, I already suggested so you can do that. But I'm just willing to just show you the method. You can definitely please rationalize everywhere possible. So it should be four root seven by seven. You can do that. okay so this is one how to use identities so sin a is given so you can find out cos a from here so cos a you can you know is nothing but under root 1 minus sin square okay so what is one under root 1 minus 3 square by 4 square which is again under root uh 16 minus 9 divided by under root 4 square Which is root seven by four. So this is cos a. So secant a is equal to one upon cos a is equal to four upon root seven. 
either way is perfect theek hai or hence it is equal to 4 root 7 by 7 hmm next last year this was 2 mark i think this is 2 mark sorry it is for 2 mark guys so change it oh sorry uh, i can't change it here anyways do it figure 1 ps is 3 qs is 4 prq is theta and uh, psq is 90 degree pq perpendicular to rq and uh, rq is 9 all information is there evaluate tan theta so people are smart very good oh this would be one mark only yes this is very very simple actually so how to do this uh, you know in one mark don't draw the diagram like that if this is too cumbersome you can directly write you can write pq is equal to under root ps square plus qs square which is under root 3 square plus 4 square this is under root 25 right directly which is under is equal to 5 Okay, so this is five. Now tan theta again directly write tan theta is equal to P Q upon R Q. So hence it is five upon nine. Done. Very good. Next. Again, tan alpha is five by twelve. These are all previous year question, guys. So hence you know we will we will solve all different types of problems. So that you are thorough. Tan alpha is five upon twelve. Find the value of secant alpha. Okay, Meghna has already done it. Come on, guys! Hey, thumbs up. The teacher gets demotivated if you are. No, anyone sleeping? Tell me, I'll tell you a good story. I watched a good movie yesterday, so I'll tell you about that. If you are feeling bored about it, maths. No, sir, maths is too boring. How do you even enjoy maths? Right, guys? How many are in that you know frame of mind? Maths too boring. My God, I would get rid of maths. Maths is cool. Why? What's the temperature? And Munish Reddy saying maths. Yes, maths is boring. Aditya says thirteen by twelve. Maths is thirteen by twelve. Okay. Never mind. Chalo, let's solve. So tan alpha is five upon twelve. Again, two roots. Find the value of secant alpha. Right. So again, the triangle root you already know five, twelve, thirteen. So this will be a Pythagoras. Uncle triplet, so hence it is A B C. So let's say five and twelve and alpha. Hence this is thirteen. I don't need to prove it. One marker, I will not prove it. Also, secant alpha. You can actually you should in the exam. So hence um, you can say A C directly is equal to under root five square plus twelve square, which is thirteen. Now secant alpha. Secant alpha is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent. Well, done. Or if you have to use the identity, then you can write second option, method two. So you know relation between tan and secant. Secant square alpha is equal to one plus tan square alpha. Use this identity, which is one plus tan square alpha is twenty five upon one four four, which is one four four plus. Twenty-five upon one four four, which is one six nine upon one four four. This is secant square alpha. So in this case, though it will be plus minus, but since alpha is between alpha in in all your on all cases, your angles alpha anyway in this this is a triangle. So alpha is an acute angle. It can be more than ninety. So it can't be negative. So hence it is simply thirteen upon twelve. So don't write plus minus. Don't show overactivism and write plus minus thirteen by twelve. No, only plus thirteen by twelve. Why? Because it's a in your grade we are considering alpha to be between zero and ninety degrees. Okay, chalo, do this. Sine x plus cos y is one. X is thirty. Y is an acute angle. Oh, we just did it. See, can you see the repetition? This is a previous year question again. So the questions are repeating in a different language only. That's it. We solved it above, isn't it? We solved the first question was the same, so now you can pick the pattern, right? So different different years, same question in a different language. Beautiful. Sometime in Kerala, some sometime in Sanskrit. Okay, so you will you will see it will change, and nothing else changes. So sine x is sine thirty degrees. 
plus cos of y is equal to 1 this is where i was talking about getting cent centum so half plus cos y is equal to 1 and they just finish said whether i should just skip that 1 minus half part can they mark wrong if we write plus minus because it's still technically correct just not there for our grade uh again depends actually very subjective a uh, mathematics teacher should not but then again uh, please understand there is a marking scheme given to the examiner okay so there is very less scope to deviate from there way by because they have to standardize the solution because otherwise what will happen the same mistake someone else would have made somewhere else and he would have got a lesser mark and you would have got a better mark that will be like injustice no so hence we will try to restrict to uh, sorry this is cos y but you know it's not that uh, serious that okay now so you are going to less you know get lesser mark if i were a teacher i will not deduct marks definitely so cos y is half so y is 60 degrees okay no mind but the problem is you must be understanding that uh, whether whether secant can be negative also because that is not taught to you so hence it is assumed that you don't know it and hence you are ignorant about the negative signs here hence okay do this cot a plus 1 by cot a is 2 then find the value of cot square a plus 1 by cot square a see all these questions can also be asked in two marker format as well so hence don't think that all of them are one marker there are multiple questions down there in the slides so yeah done six yeah so simply you need to do what square it isn't it square both sides so cot a plus 1 by cot a whole square is equal to 2 square six face how come six make na four how come four all of you are making small silly silly errors so cot Square a. Now I will teach you identities, algebraic identities of ninth grade. Don't do, let me do that, folks. Please. Isili a liklo. Write all all the steps. It doesn't cost you that much time, but it saves you good amount of marks. Hmm. So, cot square a plus one upon cot square a plus two is equal to four. Hence, cot Square a plus one upon cot square a is equal to two. Right? Don't say sorry, my dear. You will feel sorry, <laughs> as in you know you will feel bad when you don't get centum. So getting out at ninety nine hurts. You know Sachin Tendulkar's story. So when he was going for his hundredth century, it took a lot of time for him to actually. get and he got so many uh, chances six four yes four na matte nin kal saal gali jage na matte black agutte okay no problem dear put your mic on mute okay calm down chalo next question now mix of now this is three marks i hope you noticed it this is where other topics get you know uh, sir this three marks yep lo sa ka one mark to me no big oh, so now i told you right uh, it will be you know easier questions will be easier but you will do any mistakes and lose marks that's the only way people lose people do not lose marks in 10th grade maths paper because they don't know it mostly they know because uh, they lose it because they make some over confident may over confidence may error so that's that should not be the case chalo this is mix of two topics trigonometry and linear equations so three marks finished done sir so a is greater than b then find the values of a and b 75 by 2 105 by 2 okay so tan alpha plus beta is 1 so how would i solve it tan a sorry a plus b is 1 so A plus B is forty-five degrees. 
करेक्ट एंड टेन ऑफ ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन रूट थ्री दैट मीन्स ए माइनस बी इज थर्टी डिग्रीज ओके दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन इक्वेशन नंबर टू विल राइट वन प्लस टू दैट विल एलिमिनेट बी सो दैट विल गिव यू टू ए इक्वल्स सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज हाँ जी सो ए बराबर थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री और सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री एंड बी विल बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज माइनस ए which is 45 degrees minus 37 and half degrees 7 and half degree someone says 105 by 2 make now what happened here 105 by 2 will make it 50 hmm why why is 105 where is 105 coming from you 40 plus 30 45 plus 30 became 105 or what anyways chalo please take care of your errors guys errors so you know all all in all these questions so far none of the questions you didn't know all the all the answers are coming wrong because you are making some silly mistakes next han ji so now let's take up uh, heights and distance uh, you know topic and uh, you know there are only two concepts here uh, unfortunately in cbse board we do not have bearings but that is also very interesting topic so but we discuss this in our classes anyways so there are two angles so this is line of sight line of sight right and from here trigonometry is a trigonometric identities will be taken up as a separate session guys so if you had have noticed the noticed our schedule there are two sessions on trigonometry so in first we will do the basic one and the heights and distance in the second one some more heights and distances and the um what do you say identities okay chalo so this is x degrees uh, so the line of sight are the like the diagonal ones right the middle one is uh, horizontal level oh line of sight is horizontal line of sight i what i meant was when you are so all the references from this horizontal line of sight so your i i i usually in the so what i mean is your i in usual case will be this right so you have to measure your angle from this line of sight so let us some normally you don't keep looking up or down right you look when your head is straight what happens to when after what is the you know uh, line that is the horizontal line of sight from here we measure so this is a reference line this is actual line of sight when you have tilted your head to that angle right this is also actual so in this case it is lower than horizontal line of sight so this is this will be called depression the angle gets depressed this is elevation angle gets elevated okay so you have to raise your eyes from the horizontal line above that line that is called angle of elevation so for example when someone at this what is that lighthouse kind of a thing is having a sight here on the aeroplane okay and here on the uh, ship the other one so x here is x degrees x is angle of elevation so all the measurement of the angles will be taken from the horizontal line of sight and y is equal to angle of depression ओके फोक्स ये तो आपने बहुत बारी किया है बेस्ट थिंग इज टू लर्न थ्रू एप्लीकेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस इज सैंपल पेपर थ्री मार्कर राइट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सैंपल पेपर थ्री मार्कर प्रॉब्लम व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन इफ द एंगल्स ऑफ एलिवेशन ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ द कैंडल फ्रॉम टू कॉइंस डिस्टेंट ए सी एम एंड बी सी एम एंड ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी from its base and in the same straight line from it are 30 degrees and 60 degrees then find the height of the candle i hope you understood question so what is happening if the angles of elevation of the top of the candle from two points distant a cm and b cm so hence somewhere here is a 
and a is greater than b sorry so this will be b and here is a this total is a a so this is b minus a something like that i hope this is clear so you have to find out height of the candle so typical height and distance question right so what do you need to do so i will draw a diagram first so what i'll do this is my a or i will name the i will not name it like this i will name it like this so this is b this is a this is c and this is d and i will join this and join that as well i would have written like this this is b and please be careful a is a from its base and in the same straight line from 30 degrees and 60 obviously this angle is going to be 60 degrees this angle is going to be 30 degrees this is third three marker question okay and this is h very simple what do you need to find out h in terms of b and a right so oh find the height of the angle this is ridiculous hmm. talk about two coins distant a centimeter and b centimeter from its base and its same straight line so you don't need b or a for any any one thing is going to help have i read it wrongly the angles of elevation of the top of the iron and from two points straight distant a and b from its base and in the same straight line from it are 30 and 60 degrees then find the height of the angle when angles are given a and b is given um no so what do you need to do? you have to find out the height of the candle simple so hence h by b is tan 30 isn't it so they are not saying whether to find out this is some you know hurriedly created problem by <laughs> anyway so h by b is tan 60 which is root 3 so h is simply h is simply b root 3 so maybe the question was find find the relation between a and b let's say let's modify the question find the relation between a and b find the relation between a and b then probably it's more interesting or find the distance between b and a Yep. Anyway, so chalo. Uh, what do I do? So again, so in that case, h upon a is tan thirty, which is one upon root three. So you have h is equal to a by root three, and h is equal to root three b. Both are same. This implies a by root three is equal to root three b. This implies a is equal to three b. Right. So this could be. excuse me sir excused sir uh, i think the question being asked is to find the height of the uh, candle in terms of a and b so that's what we did h is b by root 3 i can't incorporate a just like that no sir we can actually because uh, we know that h by a will be 1 by root 3 we can take root 3 as reference to equate the two so h by b will be equal to a by h so h square will be ab but there is no such mention that you have to find it in the terms of a and b right so how why will i assume that i have to do it in a and b i told he they they asked us to give in a and b or sorry they have never asked anything so i gave the height whatever is given from that data is b given yes is root 3 given yes so it is if you try to you know fit it into it maybe you can but then again there is a relation between a and b so hence i don't think you need to really do much about it okay so it's fine you can leave it like that or if at all you wish to, let's let's assume that whatever uh, who was speaking anyway so if you see you can try to fit root 3 if you want to uh, this is nothing but b times root 3 is nothing but root over a by b only could k for now so this will be baby this way also you can do yes. but then i don't think uh, this should not be any issue in leave it here anyways so this is not very Uh, the language is not very great in this question right. now come to the game this is the game of yes you have to mute your mic guys 
Yeah. Now, the two palm trees are of equal height. Mute your mic. Yeah. Read. Oh, sorry. Two palm trees are of equal heights. This is again given in the sample paper. And are standing opposite each other on either side of the river, which is 80 meter wide. So your diagram will be crucial. So while you are doing, I will also do parallel. Five marks, you'll have to spend time. You can take three minutes, four minutes, even five minutes for that matter to solve. So there are three answers they are demanding. So how would I solve it? First, read the question twice. Five marker, can't take chance. Two palm trees are of equal height highlighted and are standing opposite each other on either side of the river, okay, which is 80 meters wide, highlight the units and data from a point O also, oh, this is O instead of P, from a point O between them on the river, so between them on the river, the angles of elevation of the top of the trees are 60 and 30 degrees respectively, find the height of the trees and the distances, so what all? height of the trees and distances of the point O from the tree. So there are three data, three data, three answers. Keep it in mind. Okay, so I have drawn the representative diagram. I have labeled it also. So now you can start working on it. So hence, you can, if you wish, you can label it as X and this as 80 minus X. So this is very, very small looking Diagram, so I'll redraw it with pointer options, eraser. So I'll erase everything and draw once again a little bigger in size. Okay, so because make diagrams, you know, good enough to illustrate everything in one shot. So what I, I would have done, broader and bigger. Like that. So this is point O. Okay. This is point O. Let us say this angle is 60. Obviously, the closer it is, higher will be the inclination. This is 30 degrees. 60 and 30. Yes. Now, this point is P. This point is Q. This point is R. This point is S. You can mention it as H. You can mention this as H. You can mention this as X and this as 80 minus X. And done. Write equations and solve. So, always tan will be helpful to 60 degrees is H upon X. This implies root three is equal to H upon X. Okay. This is equation one, or you can also write, uh, you have to find what anything X and H both are required. So H is equal to root three X, write it as one number the equations also next triangle. So tan 30 degrees, and it is always good to write in triangle P Q O. And then here in triangle P, sorry, R, S, O, tan 30 degrees. You please write, you know, wider space over there with lots of space between two letters. I don't have much space here. Hence, I am writing it in a very compact manner. So tan 30 is clearly H upon 80 minus 6. So this implies 1 upon root 3 
is equal to h upon 80 minus x. This implies 80 minus x is equal to root 3h. Correct? Okay, guys. So either you can uh, eliminate x or you eliminate h first. Anyways, both are required. So uh, what you can do is um, you can replace h first, let's say. So let's substitute. So 80 minus x is root 3. Be very, very careful while doing all of this because this is a 5 marker. We can't afford to lose any step. So I am writing everything, everything which I can write. 80 minus x is equal to 3x. This implies 4x. Again, when you write such steps where you're adding or subtracting variables, please check once again, 3 and this minus x will go on the other side, will become 4x. Very clear, good. 80. So this implies x is 80 by 4 and check. You might make mistake. No worries. Keep checking. So x is 20. So what will be 80 minus x? So you now know this is 1. And what is h? h is um, root 3x. So 20 root 3. And never forget to write. Right? Am I right? Uh, root. No, no, no. Not needed. Until unless they say. You can leave. Aditya, no need to calculate. Until unless they are saying. That uh, can take root 3 as 1.73. Then that means they are expecting you to. I would have left it any which way here. And if you wish. If you, do, if you have time again. So this is how the second run, third run is done while you are revising. So if you have time, you can, but then be careful while you're doing all of that because you might end up doing a wrong calculation and losing marks. So hence, so hence, but here you have to clearly say three things, three items were to be given. So write three items. So height is equal to uh, 20 root three meters. And uh, you can shortly write QO is equal to 20 meters. If you don't have time, you can write like this also. OS is equal to, but make sure that you are writing all of them, 60 meters. Like that, three data you gave. Okay. Clear? So far, so, so good. Guys, any doubt? So we have done one uh, full run through of the entire uh, this thing with all the different types of questions which are which have been asked in the previous few years as well as the current sample paper and the last year board paper. So let's go and solve more. Here, this is another one. This is, thankfully, they are going to give you or here. So the first part you saw here and the second is or either you do the previous one or this one. So the angles of depression of the top and bottom of a building, 50 meters high as observed from the top of the tower are 30 and 60. Find the height of the tower and also the horizontal distance between the building and the tower. Always remember in five marker, there will be no single answer. There will be more demand of the question because obviously they are heavy five marker, right? So there will be more than one answer, more than or not of the same question, but there will be more questions in the same one question. So more demand will be there. So always keep it in mind, keep in mind. More demand, there, there is going to be more demand. So hence always remember that there will be two, three answers. Keep checking in the five, five markers. So what all height of the tower, this is one, then and also the horizontal distance. That's it. Two answers will be coming out of this question. So let's do it. Do it, guys. Take your time. Deep breath. Relax. Solve. Solve to get 100% accuracy. You will have a lot of time in the paper. Many people struggle in, you know, understanding the question itself. So how to go about it? So see, they are talking about angles of depression. That means we are looking at from some height. Okay. Of the top and bottom of a building. Now angle of depression of top and bottom of a building, 50 meters high. So let's make that building itself first. So this is building. The best part is I can you know it encourages a lot of drawing so unfortunately there is no such tool here why is there no toolbox wait hmm. so building again 
रखेगा नेवर माइंड सो टावर हैज टू बी हायर देन द बिल्डिंग दिस इज एच दिस इज कैपिटल एच ओके एंड द एंगल ऑफ डिप्रेशन सो एंगल ऑफ डिप्रेशन हु इज स्टैंडिंग वेयर इज समवन स्टैंडिंग हियर फ्रॉम हियर ही इज लुकिंग एट बोथ द हाइट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग लाइक दैट टॉप ऑफ द बिल्डिंग एंड द बॉटम ऑफ द बिल्डिंग राइट एंड दिस इज द ग्राउंड ground 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 okay let's name it let's say ab is my tower cd is the sorry ab is the building cd is the tower right and this is what they are asking h is equal to 50 it's given okay now i am i am writing it very you know you know very wrong manner but i don't have space here but you guys would be having space so don't do this kind of a drawing over there okay wait no uh, it is because this doesn't look good at all so don't do that hmm so make it as neat as possible okay now what is asked for this x right what is given this angle is given how much is it 30 degrees and how much is it last one is sorry this one is 60 degrees so mention that there draw this perpendicular let's say e then this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees that is what is the diagram all about now you have to find out x and capital h okay so obviously you have to write equations few equations what all this height is h minus 50 and this also is x so write that okay now let's write the equations equations are first so write, write down in triangle cea in triangle cea we have h minus 50 upon x is equal to what tan 30 right this is the first one is it so hence simplify this one and you will get this implies h minus 50 is equal to x by root 3 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 multiplied by x This is h minus fifty, so hence you will get h is equal to fifty plus x upon two three. One equation. Second equation will come from the other triangle C D B. Okay, what will that be in this triangle? H upon x is tan sixty. Tan sixty. You have to remember the right values, otherwise you will. you know uh mix that up 30 become 60 and gone so always remember tan 30 is smaller than tan 60 right so hence in one tan 30 it will be on 1 by root 3 tan 60 will be simply root 3 so from here what do i get h is equal to x root 3 now i can equate 1 and 2 to get x first anyways x was also needed or you can do the substitution and solve for h first whichever way so you can say from One and two. Since it is a five marker, so you need to have more elaborate steps as well. So fifty plus x upon root three is equal to x root three. This implies fifty equals x common root three minus one upon root three. So you get x first here. So I am going to be lacking the space, but anyways. So x times root three minus one upon root three. Is equal to fifty, so this means x is root three times fifty upon root three minus one, and you have to, you know, rationalize the denominator. So fifty root three into root three plus one, and when writing directly, you can write the steps as well. Divide by two, so this is twenty five root three. Root three plus one is my x. Error. Some error. Did I do some error? X is twenty five root three. Oh, you are getting some different answer. Wait a minute. Let me see. I will check. I will check. The equations are correct or not? H minus fifty upon x is tan thirty. So x by root three. Yes. So x is pachas fifty plus x root three. Shouldn't be three minus one. Ha. So two. Denominator is two only. Yes, I mentioned two. Do you not? I mentioned two only, no? Oh, where? Somewhere? Other? Oh, so let me check. Let me check. Who's at that? I I might have done some mistake. 
h by x is root three, so h is x root three. Fair enough. So fifty plus x root three is equal to x root three. So fifty is equal to x common root three minus one by root three. So which is um, root three minus one by root three times x is equal to fifty. I don't think is there an error? Everyone is getting different, or where where some can someone can unmute and say. Sir, it's three minus one by root three x is equal to fifty. Where where which step? Ma'am, la uh, sir, la last line, just when you start. This one, no. Uh, x is this. This is correct till this point. It is correct. No, sir. That exactly is wrong. Oh, here is the mistake. What happened here? Oh, ah, sorry, my bad. So I just yeah, I have put an extra root. Thanks, 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 guys. This is what happens. So hence, five marker, please check calculations multiple number of times. One minute, friends. Where is the eraser? This is little. Troubling. हाँ यहाँ पे था ठीक है ठीक है correct. I'm sorry, my bad. Then x will be uh, oh so let me delete everything from here. Thanks for correcting guys. अभी इसको let us. So I was also thinking it was coming too cumbersome. Anyways, so now that we have known this, so what do I do? Let me go to pointer options pen, and hence this exactly is two. So twenty five root three. हाँ good. very good and how do i know whether that was correct or not if i would have you know so one is you look the ratios look at the ratios because they are coming out to be you know so 25 root 3 somewhere around 37 40ish 40ish number right so in the other case it would be something different so then that should have you know rung the bell but anyways chalo good so x is 25 root 3 so what is the h h is equal to x root 3 matlab 25 root 3 into root 3, which is 75 meters. Meters. Don't. Right. Is that okay? Bolo. ठीक आ चाहे तो. Is that clear, Das? Okay. चलो. Let's go to the next one. This is actual board paper 2020. There, there was no five marker. They all had maximum was four marks. So, but then the same question. Now here, take root three is one point seven three. So please convert. I would advise one thing to you, uh, Aditya. You asked me a question whether to convert. So now let's let's keep it. Uh, I don't know what have they instructed in school, but try calculating up to two decimal places. Anyways, is that okay? All of you, just give me a thumbs up. Now that they have any anyways mentioned this, that means they are expecting the final decimal answer. So hence. Try converting the final answer after rationalization into two decimal places answer. That will help because the question itself here in this they have categorically mentioned. Okay, shall do it. Vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height six meters. At a point on the plane, the angle of elevation of the bottom and top of flagstaff are thirty and forty-five. Find the height of the tower. This is third category question. So you saw a river. There is a point between it. Then you saw the typical height and distance question where one building and one side there are two angle of elevation. This is third one. Something on some some flag stuff over a building. This is actual board paper, last year. Arya Rao says 2.5 height of tower. One. Oh, it's a previous one. No, this is. Oh, find the height of the tower. Okay, 8.21, 8.19. Different kind of answers. Decimal places me under two decimal points. Anyways, see four marker. So, if you are able to solve a four five marker question in two three minutes, that means you have a lot of time. So I I'll keep on reiterating. You'll have a lot of time. So you'll have. A minimum of fifteen to twenty minutes to revise the paper. For God's sake, please revise the paper because otherwise you will end up making such mistakes. Okay, so you can be, you can you know decide your pace. Anyways, the mocks will give you the, um, what do you say? Right kind of exam setup. Anyways, so vertical tower stands on horizontal. How to crack this? Vertical tower is there. So let's draw a triangle. Before that, as I told you, read it twice. Vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height six meters. So there is a tower 
on top of it there is a flag staff whose height is given at a point so this 6 meter is height of the flag staff not of the tower obviously 6 meter towers are not there in our country at a point on the plane the angle of elevation of the bottom and the top of the flag staff of 30 and 45 respectively find the height of the tower so let me draw the tower first and tower has to be longer this is the point where the flag staff would be there so this is my flag let's say okay and uh, they are saying that top and bottom of the flag staff angle of elevation is given so this is the setup so let's say ab is the tower and ac is the flag staff which is 6 meters high that's given okay what all what else is given 30 and 45 degrees so clearly this is 30 and this has to be 45 okay now what uh what is to be uh, find the height of the tower in this case they are asking only one thing find the height okay is there any other question many a times in the second line also they are they give the question so hence read once again at a point the angle of elevation is uh, this this find the height so make sure that only one thing is asked for height okay so we have to find out this height h let us say this is d so now again in triangle careful a b d a b d oh A B or oh, D. This point is D. Yeah, A B D. What will happen? Uh, H by D. H by small D is tan thirty. Okay. So hence H is D tan thirty. So D by root three. This is one. Right. And secondly, in triangle, which one? C B D. C Either you can adopt uh, isosceles ka gyan or you can adopt trigonometry. Isosceles triangle, no? CBD is isosceles. Why? Because it is forty-five degrees, so clearly this has to be forty-five degrees. So you can directly write, or you can use since it is a trigonometry question. I will go for that. So six plus h upon d is equal to ten forty-five, which is one. So let me write now here. As suggested last time, also don't write in multiple columns. Write in one single column in your. There is no dearth of paper in the board exam. So six plus h is equal to d, right? So h is equal to d minus six. This is equation number two. Once again, yeah. So d, so h is equal to six minus. Now sorry, d minus six. H is d minus six. Now equate one and two. So from One and two. What is this? D upon root three. See, I will eliminate H because I don't want. Sorry, what did I want to eliminate? D only, no? Oh, oh, oh. So, so no. Then this is wrong. Step. You should write D in terms of D. So from here you can write D is equal to root three H. That will help you in one step itself. Okay. Now here D is anyways six plus H. So you don't need this step. Write this to two only. Okay, so from one and two again now. From oh, I already written it. From one and two. Root three h is d, and six plus h is also d. So root three minus one is equal to h is equal to six, and hence h is six by root three minus one. Okay, but you have to solve. So let me solve here. Here. Some space, some space. Yep. So rationalize first. Don't try to divide here at this stage. Rationalize is better. So this will be six root three plus one, no doubt. And below it will be three minus one. That is two. So this is nothing but three into root three plus one. Am I right? All of you got the same thing. So hence this is three times. And now deploy one point seven three. So two point seven three. That means this is nine. One eight point meters, right? I was getting some other values. Yeshika, how did I? How did you get one nine six? Someone also mentioned two one. Who mentioned two one? And how did you get three s eight point two one from where? Hmm? Oh my God! No no no! Don't take that! No 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 no! Don't take one point seven three. Whatever. See, they have mentioned one point seven three. Oh, sorry. 
Why do you need to take something else? Nothing. Whatever is given, just abide by that. Is okay. Chalo. Next up. This is again previous year paper. Do it. From a point on the ground, the angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of a tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are 45 and 60. Find the height of the tower. Now, this is this happens in uh, many of the apartments. They will have this mobile tower you know, these days. So you can measure the height of the tower by this or height of the building. Aryan has done it already. Nice. Check Madi Aryan Bhai. Now who is this 8702596 Enter admit. Guys, if you have you know beautiful names, why don't you use that? So who is this phone number? 87 something something. Please use your name. 82 because you are risking your um, identity. If you are, you know, putting your phone number there. Hmm. Okay. So 20 root 3 minus 1. Okay. Very, very good. Lots of people are already done. So from a point on the ground, so there has to be a ground. But first read the question. Oh, what happened? You went to some other. Huh? From a point. On the ground, the angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of a tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are this respectively. So what is the question? Very simple again, straightforward. There is no challenge to this. So this is my building, capital H. This is my small h of tower. And here are two points on the ground. Many times, uh, they can give you on the opposite side and all that. So only diagram will differ. Otherwise, um, not much of a problem would be there. So, you know, so in this case, both are on the same side, right? So the angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of the tower fixed at the top of 20 meter high. So this is given already 20 meters. Building R45. So let me write name A, B, C, D, and this is 45 and this is 30. No, sorry. Oh, this is 60. My bad. This one is 60 and this is 45. So again, the moment you see 45, mouth watering. Why? Isosceles triangle. So a lot of life becomes much easier. Okay. Anyway, so you will write now in triangle A, B, C, you will write um, H plus H h plus h upon let's say this is d small d d is equal to a b c no a b c so tan 45 one oh sorry tan 60 this will be bigger one 60 degrees my bad so root 3 fair enough mm. so so in this case h is equal to d doesn't apply or doesn't appear from the figure but anyway so hence h plus h is equal to root 3d equation number one you can write like that and then in triangle dbc one plus plus h where no 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 it is h only sorry Andrilla. okay h is not one plus plus h it is h plus h sorry while writing fast it happens okay so take care there also okay now h plus h is root 3d and in triangle what dbc dbc what do we have h upon d is equal to tan of 45 degrees one so clearly h is equal to d okay now so what do you need to find out 
height of the tower so what do you need to eliminate d so hence i can write from so i have to find out small h so from 1 and 2 again all do the rituals so this is 2 so write from 1 and 2 and since capital h is 20 meters you can write 20 plus small h by d d is capital h only so 20 is equal to root 3 is it so 20 plus h is 20 root 3 so h is what 20 common what what ha ah, root 3 minus 1 and the meters so let's try to find out the value 20 minus 1.73 minus 1 meters which is 20 into 0.73 meters which is equal to 641 14.6 meters theek hai okay chalo next one now airplane good solve it you should not miss these are very easy low hanging fruits in your board paper in the exam can we take the value of root as 1.73 yes you can see whenever you are in doubt in exam whether i can do or or not so whatever is your whatever is there in your mind so for example you are assuming something right down there assuming root 3 to be this much like that okay this is so value wise so you must remember you can't assume root 3 to be 1.4 what i'm saying is let's say any any time in doubt you can write your assumption there in the paper find the speed of the airplane okay 200 meter per second angle of elevation of an airplane from a point on the ground is 60 degrees after a flight of 30 seconds the angle of elevation becomes 30 degrees If the airplane is flying at a constant height of three thousand root three meters, find the speed of the airplane. Okay, so here is my airplane. Acha, airplane is moving away from the point or coming closer to the point. What do you think? It's uh, it's moving away or coming closer? Or in both cases, it will work. We had this question. In yes, it has to be away. Okay, so here is. my plane looks very good and it is moving away obviously hence the angle of elevation is going down from here which was 60 to here which is 30 drop the perpendicular join this so a b c d e right this is h is equal to right here it's a 3000 root 3 meters what is to be found out basically you want to find out ad distance ad is it then divide by time you will get the speed because it is constant speed so now again right triangle you have to find out ad so you now know this is also h okay so let us say this is x fair enough x and this is y let us say these are the things so triangle abc in triangle abc what do i know h upon y is equal to tan 60 degrees okay this is equation number 1 you can simplify h upon y is root 3 this implies h is root 3 
y or y is h upon root 3 right okay now next i would i don't need y hence i am writing in terms of y okay in the uh, triangle uh, dec triangle dec right what will this be h upon y plus x h upon y plus x is equal to tan 30 okay this implies h is equal to y plus x divided by root 3 this implies root 3h is equal to y plus x now from here i will get x why because y i know this is equal to you can write root 3h is equal to y y was h upon root 3 plus x i i need x right so what is x guys so this implies x equals h common root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 okay g so this is nothing but again the same calculation so x is equal to uh, 2 by root 3 h am i right this is x so now i'm writing here okay from here so what is speed speed is equal to distance by time that means x divided by 30 seconds so what is x x is 2h by root 3 divided by 30 okay now h is given 3000 by root 3 so that means this is equal to 3000 so 2 times 3000 last step only i am doing the final calculation divided by 30 root 3 so root 3 root 3 will go this is 100 so this is 200 meter per second isn't it ah, very good speed hmm? okay fellas make sense it is moving at 18 by 584 520 520 kilometers per hour anyways or uh, 540 kilometers per hour Achha. okay guys so far so good Bolo. any problem let's let's see the energy level so i know we have already crossed one hour and 45 minutes in this session so i know you guys are you know bearing for these long hours but can't help guys so hence let me see how many of you are there yes 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 why 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 show your presence by just typing why so so that i can also understand okay how many people are still there okay so good good that a lot of you are maintaining the patience okay so these are typical same type of you know uh these are again this is last year paper so now here if you check this is 1.732 a man in a boat rowing away from a lighthouse. These are typical, you know, find the speed of the boat in. So do this. Achha. Here the catch is. Please be careful. So a man in a boat rowing away from a lighthouse, 100 meters high, take two minutes to change the angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse from 60 degrees to 30 degrees. Find the speed of the boat in meters per minute. Solve. This is previous year question worth four marks. Oh, different different answers are coming from Akshita. Akshita is saying something else. Meghna saying something else. Munish. 
AB is height of tower, BC is distance from board to tower. 57.8, oh sorry, where did it go, yeah. Fifty-seven point seven three eight three. Oh, different different answers. Meghna is saying six point one. Meghna, what's that answer? Six point one is. Hmm. Okay, my turn to solve. Okay, man in a boat rowing away from a lighthouse, hundred meter high. So that has this is hundred meter high, hundred meter high lighthouse. Can you imagine what kind of length it is? Hundred meter high takes two minutes to change the angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse. So it was here initially. So the boat is going in this direction. Hmm? And here, don't go by the diagrams, which is little use, you know, proper scale and pencil while drawing it. So in five markers, you should do that. A, B, C, and now D. What has happened? This has happened. So hence, it has moved from C to D. Correct? And H is given 100 meters and so you have to basically find out this x to find out the speed and this takes two minutes to travel right so meters per minute anyways it has to be calculated so i don't need to change the units okay now let us say this small distance is b hmm. and now these angles are known these angles are known this is 60 degrees this is 30 degrees okay now quickly in triangle, in triangle ABC, ABC, tan 60. So 100 upon D is equal to tan 60 degrees is equal to root 3. So this implies D is equal to 100 upon root 3 meters. So D is down on. Now in triangle ABD, 100 upon d plus x so d plus x is tan 30 degrees which is 1 upon root 3 this implies 100 root 3 is equal to d plus x now you can find out x from here how d you already know so deploy it so 100 root 3 is equal to d d is 100 upon root 3 plus x again so from here x will be 100 common root 3 minus 1 by root 3. This is the third time we are doing this calculation. So you must be now remembering it anyway. So this is 100 into 2 by root 3. So 200 by root 3. Isn't it? So Anji, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Mute. Mute yourself. Okay. 100 root 3, right? So now uh, 100 into 2 root 3. So hence, this is nothing but 100 or 200 root 3 by 3. So I have already rationalized x. So now I'm calculating here because of positive of space. I'm writing here. So speed is equal to x upon 2 minutes. 2 minutes is the time taken, right? So hence, it is 200 root 3 by 3 into 2 meters per minute. All of you got that, that part. So this is 100 root 3 by 3. Did you get this part? All of you, 100 root 3 by 3. But you have to convert this. So this is nothing but 173.2 by 3. This is easy. Rather than dividing, do this. Now, answer is nothing but, uh, so I'm writing here. So, answer 3, 5 is 15, 23, 7 is 21, 22, 7, 3. 
right? Since it is three digits, so you also should write, but it is good enough. 527, 27. 5, 23, 7. So 22, 7 meters per minute. Fair enough. And you must also add the what? Units. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now, uh, see, we have, I, I will anyways, lots of, I have compiled lots of other questions as well. So probably we will not be able to do all of that. And it is typically now repeating. So what you can do is when I upload it, uh, these are all previous year questions. So my request to all will be do solve all of them. Okay. And even before your exam, you go through all this, this particular slide, these slides, you don't need to do anything further. So in my opinion, you have done so many times. So you can keep all the notes handy. Just solve these questions to get some enough practice. And, uh, you know, these are the model answers you can see. Let me, I can zoom. Oh, no, I can't. So this is, um, you know, the, uh, what is it? Heights and distance question. See how, what are the points to be noted over here? So they have used rulers, scale, scales and rulers are used. So no freehand drawing no free hand drawing right so what this guy has done is a b lighthouse is 100 meter high c c is boat one c d is boat two you know labeled or to find c d or distance between ships see how precisely or very you know in a concise manner he has mentioned you know and in one particular shot everything is here every information is here only so an examiner would be happy to see this because it shows one clarity of mind. So you are clear what you need to do. Clarity of mind. So hence it will attract my attention. So this guy knows where to go and hence very, you know, uh, in a very, in very clear way you have represented in India, right? Then see, uh, you don't need to do this. I think this you can avoid. So tan of ACB, or you can mention here tan 30 directly also is equal to AB by BC. So that will help you. Then same, you know, it, this definition is not needed, not needed that much. This is good enough. Then, uh, you know, but though they have done in parallel, you can see there are two columns they have, this guy has maintained, but I would advise against it. I would say, if your school teachers have uh, encouraged you to do like that, so then please do it. Otherwise, don't do it two columns. One column, one top of the other like that so x is 100 meters okay and then um, because what happens is if you write in two columns the examiner doesn't know what to where to go first what to do well you know are they interlinked how is that so hence give him give him the direction to evaluate so lead him to one particular direction so hence you can see very clearly and given root 3 is 1.732 written so d is equal to this 73.2 meters and did this Kind of thing. So this you don't do uh, all these decoration part which is there, no? where they are highlighting. If I were him, I would have simply underlined it. Simple. Don't do all. Don't spend time on making square. You know what do you say? Boxes and all that. If you have a lot of time left towards the end and you are done, couple of times revision. Now you have enough time to go through and decorate your answer paper. Do not use multiple colors and all that. That's not advisable. You can simply use the pencil to differentiate it from the pen maybe and then keep underlining. So I, I, in my answers, I used to underline twice to show that this is the answer. I don't need to go for all this box making thing. No, you can avoid all of that without impacting your scores. So hence, um, this should be the way of writing any questions in, uh, from your side also. I would recommend that, you know, you can feel free to post questions in your respective group guys and in my opinion if you before the exam for the trigonometry part all these questions i think around 25 odd questions are already there in this you know in these slides if you just go through the solved answers and check the questions and solve that will be good enough do not try to practice so many things together this is for just before the exam i'm saying before the math exam you have you don't need to do everything once again so you just flip over these slides and uh, there's a high probability that the questions would be in similar nature. Very, very high probability. Is it okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is anyways, I'm going to give you these questions. You can solve and you can, you know, um,
these are anyways available on the uh, cbse's website this slides also we will upload and uh, in the next class what we'll do is the rest of the you can solve this and whenever we have the next class we'll have just tally the answers maybe and then we will take up uh, trigonometric identities okay so that will solve more of identity based questions so i will pick up identities questions from the previous year papers will come here and solve all of them so that you get a fair enough idea how that is done is that fine so we'll stop here guys so thanks for your time and uh, i hope this is making uh, sense to all of you are you guys uh, do you think this is useful so these are uh, every day you know meeting for 2 hours and solving problems previous year questions so do 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 let us know your how do you feel about it and what else do you do you want so do we do we, anything else we can do from our side to help you please feel free to reach out and uh, you should all uh, refer to rd sharma not needed for boards not needed at all not needed so yeah anything else any other question you have please ask me and uh, you know please uh, be connected and those who are who have joined the crp whatsapp group uh, you guys can post your queries in that group as well so that just to reiterate the announcements tomorrow three options uh you know uh three options of writing exam ntsc slash mock test of board slash come on so you can try anything come on link will be active for till 5th of january so you know during the week uh, whenever you have time please go through and make sure that you attempt is that okay any other any other thing i can help you with guys tell me or you can reach out to me individually as well okay uh no crp group is for those who have not joined central formally so for all central students uh will anyways be receiving their information on your respective groups don't worry crp group is all those invitees who are joining from other schools and other other people okay fair enough to theek hai dosto see you again on i think next class for mathematics would be on tuesday there will be first chemistry class on monday do attend that and i hope all of you have the schedule with you keep keep checking the schedules okay bye bye guys and take care and enjoy your weekend and uh, stay safe okay bye bye signing off now in ncert textbook enough for boards um yes to to a large extent so you can restrict to that and whatever questions previous year questions if you you know do we usually say that rs agarwal is a good enough now uh, this thing for boards because they have wide coverage of questions so you can do that so you know and uh, i would suggest you can keep rs agarwal as the mean level so and then you don't need to deviate from there for the board exams and whatever questions previous year questions solve all 3 4 year previous year questions for every subject is more than enough very much recommended obviously previous year papers we will all these questions which we are discussing are previous year questions only manish so uh, very 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 important very very relevant because as i told you by the end of february you will be able to predict your own board paper mark my words okay bye bye take care see you